tropical storm Dorian strengthens to a hurricane as President Trump approves emergency declaration for Puerto Rico. The National Hurricane Center made the announcement moments ago saying the storm is picking up speed near the U.S. Virgin Islands and it could hit Florida as a Category 3 storm early next week. A Dorian is expected to make landfall in Puerto Rico this afternoon, bringing strong winds, heavy rain and possible life threatening floods. One America's Emerald Robinson has more on the president's efforts to help the territory from the White House. That's right. President Trump signed an emergency declaration for Puerto Rico ahead of Hurricane Dorian making landfall there. The president and the administration taking no chances after the island remains struggling following Hurricane Maria almost two years later. In Puerto Rico, the storm is expected to bring the threat of landslides, widespread flooding and more power outages. President Trump made the declaration on Tuesday night. Now, Puerto Rico is expecting about 50 to 60 mile per hour winds but for a territory that has yet to recover from Hurricane Maria, that can be particularly devastating. In fact, it's a huge concern for this U.S. territory where some 30,000 homes still have blue tarps in lieu of roofs because of Hurricane Maria. The island's 3.2 million residents still have a very shaky power grid that has remained prone to outages since Hurricane Maria. The 2017 storm also led to stormy relations between President Trump and certain Puerto Rican government officials. The president tweeted early on Wednesday morning that FEMA and all others are ready and will do a great job. When they do, let them know and give them a big thank you, not like last time. The president clearly still lingering on some of those sentiments also added in that tweet. This includes from the incompetent mayor of San Juan. But Mayor Carmen Yulin Cruz had already lashed out of the president on Tuesday following the emergency declaration, saying that President Trump should get out of the way and let others do the job of preparing for Dorian. However, Puerto Rican officials have come under investigation for corruption, especially as it relates to storm funds. An FBI investigation recently resulted in the arrest of two former senior officials as a part of uh, former Puerto Rican Governor Ricardo Rosario's office, leading to uh, the uh, calls for resignation for that governor to step down. Now, the arrests have also caused concern on Capitol Hill about the billions of dollars in aid that Congress has approved for the island. In fact, the president also touched on that in a tweet on Wednesday morning, saying that Puerto Rico is one of the most corrupt places on earth. Their political system is broken and their politicians are either incompetent or corrupt. He added that Congress approved billions of dollars last time, more than any place has ever gotten, and it is sent to crooked politicians. Not good. Now, Congress did approve $42 billion in funds for the island's recovery, but a government study found that only about $40, $14 billion of that money has been spent to date. Back to you.